Nick Dragon is a longtime volunteer here in the city of Hazel Park with our police department's mobile communication support unit. Nick has served the police department in this volunteer capacity for 50 years. Prior to his service with the mobile communication support unit, Nick was uh, a decorated Vietnam conflict veteran where he served in combat and earned multiple commendations for his heroism. We are so pleased to honor Nick this year as the 2023 Special Grand Marshal for the Hazel Park Memorial Day Parade. I ended up in Vietnam and I got in country 31 December of 67 and Charlie welcomed me up welcomed me with a New Year's Eve present of a rocket and mortar attack. I asked the guy when the next plane leaving because I don't like this place. And he said, sorry, you're here for a year regardless. And then uh, it went downhill after that. We were considered expendable. We were, if we lived okay, if we didn't, that was okay. All we were for is to, I never thought I'd be able to put on a resume, professional killer, but that's all we were. We, we went out, looked for the enemy, find them and kill them. And then when they went into their holds, we, us, us little guys had to go underground after them. Technically, I died the 5th of February of 68. Uh, we were going in, first we were doing a, Working with the engineers, we were pulling security for them while they fixed the road between Coochie and Tain Inn. Well, then the uh, convoys were getting ambushed at this village, sniper attack. And so they said, well, we'll send a company of infantry in, and they picked us to go in there. The only thing uh, military intelligence was a little oxymoron that... Uh, they forgot to tell us there was 50,000 of those snipers in there. So we end up uh, going into this village and I got, I got hit the first part of the battle. My gun jammed and I was playing Daniel Boone and knocking a round out with my cleaning rod and uh, uh, took some shrapnel in my left arm. I yelled for a medic, and he yelled back, he don't make house calls, so I had to crawl over it to him. By the 1st of March, I was back out. 7th of March, I was back out in the field. Well, I look at it this way. If we don't fight for our country, we don't, we don't deserve to be in it. You can't uh, uh, protect your country and its citizens. You don't deserve to be around. How's your health these days? Yeah, I'm I'm above ground, which is all that counts. But me, I figure I'm I live longer than I should have, and I'm on borrowed time because uh, being exposed to a dioxin, which was Agent Orange, we slept in it, showered in it, drank it. So, how many guys that you served with uh, ended up dying? Uh, a good 30 some guys that I Yeah, this one will because uh, the 29th of May of 68, I carried out my medic. I was on detail of carrying his body out. He got, he got killed and we carrying his body in with us. Well, I got involved in it in 74. I figured, well, it was something to, to do. And uh, I figured maybe it'll help me give back a little bit since I had to kill so many people, and uh, so I just uh, got involved, and like we end up uh, 
sitting on down wires and stuff like that, trying to keep people from from uh, getting killed or worse. I'm mostly just a watch and stuff like that. Sometimes uh, when we're driving around, the ambulance will make an ambulance call. We'll pull over and watch the ambulance, make sure nobody messes with it while they're in taking care of the people. We've worked fire scenes. This will be the first time in 50 years that Nick hasn't worked shutting down streets and directing traffic for the parade. This year, finally, he is honored for his service to our community and his heroism during the Vietnam War as a member of the United States Army.